Applebee's has been a staple of casual dining since it first opened its doors in 1980. The chain's success peaked in the early 2000s, hitting 1,500 locations and expanding into international markets, including Ecuador, Chile, and Jordan. It also added healthier options to its menu and launched its car side to go service. But according to Business Insider, Applebee's closures have been on the rise since 2016, and the chain continues to report declining sales and continuing struggles, thanks in part to millennial shifts to fast casual dining and at-home cooking. So what's going on with this former favorite neighborhood hangout? Here's the real reason Applebee's is struggling. Millennial Pass It's no secret what we eat is constantly evolving, and thanks to millennials, how we eat has also changed. In 2016, Applebee's launched what Business Insider calls a comprehensive business transformation designed to update the chain for the new generation of diners. Locations were redesigned, kitchens were overhauled, and the menu looked completely different. In 2015, HuffPost reported Applebee's would be rebranding as a millennial bar, adding trendy options like brisket nachos and sweet potato fries. At the time, brand president John Sawinski told Fortune, "...while we certainly hope to extend our reach, we can't alienate boomers or Gen Xers in the process." But by 2017, Applebee's execs were facing the brutal truth that not only had they failed to get millennials in the door, they had changed so much that their core customer base was suddenly no longer interested. Average Grub In a world where rock star chefs, hashtag food porn, YouTube mukbangs, and culinary TV shows are king, Applebee's hasn't stepped up their game to compete. Consumer Affairs customer reviews for the chain topped out at a pretty sad 1.5 stars as of June 2018. Bad reviews may be keeping some young diners away, but there's also the lack of social media excitement about the chain's food. The Detroit News noted in August 2017 that there's just not much on the Applebee's menu that looks great on the gram. Just take this photo of the Southwestern Steak Salad from late 2017, a perfect example of how the menu might look appetizing but the real-life dish doesn't always measure up. Not mixing it up The Detroit News suggests one more piece of the fail puzzle is that every Applebee's in the U.S. has the exact same menu. And while consistency can be great, it can also be a huge downfall in a market where local means everything. The chain has no special menu to spotlight popular regional offerings, which is kind of ironic considering it's called the Neighborhood Bar & Grill. Everyone already knows exactly what there is to choose from, and that means there's no incentive to try a new location. Caloric Overload Every year, the Center for Science and the Public Interest hands out their Extreme Eating Awards. And it's not an award anyone wants. Applebee's was given the top spot in 2016 for their Build Your Sampler Platter. It's customizable, but the worst version you can create packs a whopping 3,390 calories and a shocking 11,650 milligrams of sodium. The American Heart Association recommends that adults ideally eat 1,500 milligrams of salt per day, max. But even healthier menu options can be tricky. Order the innocent-looking Oriental Grilled Chicken Salad, and you're downing 1,310 calories and 2,230 milligrams of sodium. That leaves us hungry for someplace else. Social Media Boycott In 2013, the company ran into trouble with fans when an Applebee's server posted a picture of a receipt with no tip and the customer's comment, I give God 10%, why do you get 18? Not cool, but what really set off the chaos was Applebee's firing of the waitress who posted the pic, claiming she had violated her contract. But the internet was having none of it. The entire fiasco earned more than 20,000 comments, with thousands of people calling for a boycott of the chain. Allegations of Harassment According to Vox, Applebee's and sister company IHOP have had more than 60 workers file sexual harassment lawsuits in federal courts between 2010 and 2018. Individual franchise owners were named in the lawsuits, brought by workers who claimed to have been the victims of everything from lewd comments to threats they would be fired if they didn't comply with sexual advances. Applebee's released official statements, attempting to distance themselves from the perceived abusive work environment. But since most claims are handled privately by the U.S. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, it's impossible to tell how many people have actually come forward. Here's hoping Applebee's can turn it around in the near future. Thanks for watching. Click the mashed icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out this other cool stuff we know you'll love too.